What up YouTube, it's your boy Detroit Love with another video. So as you guys may be aware, I modified the Toy Shock um, digital pinball machine and, and been enjoying the uh, visual pinball. Um, but I also wanted to look at what my options are because that's what modding is all about, having options. And so I'm today looking at the uh, Pinball FX3. I purchased a, a four pack for like five bucks of uh, a, um, I think it's a Williams Valley package. It had four games. Uh, one was a t uh, Attack from Mars. Another one was Fishtails. And so today I'm going to just show you how to add a game into uh, Pinball X uh, to add a RK FX3 game into Pinball X. So, we just simply la launch our game manager, switch over to the Pinball FX3, and it'll show you the list of games. Up here, I'm going to click Add Game. That'll give me a empty field here. Now, the game has to be exactly what the, the name of the file is called in the Steam directory. So, that Steam directory is this. So, uh, what's going on here? Notepad. So, the path that you want to go to is this here. Okay. So, C program files uh, x86 go into the Steam directory. Steam apps, common, pinball FX3, data, and then finally Steam. So once you go into that directory, you're going to see a list of files. You have to locate the name of the file that you want. So we're going to add Party Zone. So if you do not s see the name, because it, you don't know how it's going to name the file. This one is particularly named Bally underscore Party Zone. Okay. Uh, but there's a search up at the top corner here that you can search for if you didn't know the name. So I know I have one called Black something, so I'll just come type in Black. And then it'll hit Enter. And so it gives me... So the other fourth game is Black Rose. Okay, so that's how you figure out what the name... So it's a valley table as well. That's how you figure out... Find your table in that list of files but for this example we're going to add the party zone file so it's called a pxp file and that is what steam uses to launch this table but we're just going to copy this name because it has to be exact exactly name that and we're going to go over here to our game name and we're just going to paste that in here now, technically, that's all you need for it to launch. But you can put in whatever you want here. This this part doesn't matter at all. Party zone. And I'm just going to put Valley there. Manufactured. I'm just going to put in Zen Studios because it's a Zen Studios version of this. And I don't know the year. And I don't know. I'm just going to put SS in there. Okay, now, right now, that would um, that would make it appear, but it won't look pretty. So we want to get some media files so that we have like this, what this called a wheel image. See, yeah, I have, I have those up there. And so all you have to do is go to. Google and just uh, I'm on a ro rotated screen so it's a little weird and you can just search the easiest thing to search for is the name of the of the um, name of the table and put in media pack and you can find it so there's an option to download this I've already downloaded it and it brings up a zip file I can find it here 
So it brings up a zip file. And now the zip file could have all kinds of stuff in it. I'm just going to back up so you can see. All right, so if I open up this zip file, it has a hyper, a hyper pen. That's irrelevant, but we want media. Zoom in a little bit. Go to media. And it doesn't really matter. If we needed this for vi virtual uh, pinball, we would go here or hyper spin. It don't really matter. I'm just going to go there. And now it has these things here. Exactly what we need. Our wheel image, our table image, and our back glass image. Okay. Uh, and so I'm going to extract this to there. There's fine. Okay. So I can close that. So it it sent that over here. So I have these three directories here. My back glass. So there's party zone. And I have my table image. And I have my wheel image for party zone. All right. <coughs> now here, I can say we're going to import the wheel. It says you need to save the changes. I'll say yes. And it's going to ask me to select a file. Uh, I've, I've, I haven't done this before, so I'm just guessing. At this, let me see if I can drop it in there. I can't. All right, so I, I don't know how to use that there. That's if you want to extract it from online, and you could do that. But since we have these downloaded, all we simply need to do is navigate over to open up another window, navigate to this to the Pinball X directory, go to Media, and we are currently working with the FX Pinball FX3. We go there and then we have these directories here we can just copy these three directories copy copy that and then we can go in here and click on the white and say paste that automatically you can see that's highlighted images is highlighted Table images and wheel because it added to those directories what we needed. I don't like not seeing my previous image there. Uh, oh, my other images, I, I have back glass videos for the other two. Okay. All right. So now we have our image, wheel, and our um, table so I can close that now one more thing we need to do this back glass image in order for this to show up now this is this image is merely going to show up in pinball X so you'll see if I launch this now I have fishtail there and there's party zone Party Zone has this image for the table, play field, and it has this image for the backsplash as well as this. That's the a wheel. See how that wheel changes. Okay. Now, now you hear it's no music for that. You can search and get that if you want it as well. But right now it looks pretty. Right. Now we also want to get this back glass available inside of once we launch the table in once we launch the, the table and it goes to steam we want that image to be there as well and so in order to get that to work we're going to copy this party zone image copy that and we need to paste that over into our Steam directory that where we went to before the data directory. And it needs to be named the same as this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paste it over here for now so I can name it the same thing. So I paste it there, and I'm going to click here and copy that. 
and rename this PNG file to be the same exact name. So now you see that name is the same. Now I can just drag this over here. Drag it over there and let go. Now you see here I have valley underscore party underscore zone PXP and now a PNG. So now I have my backsplash for inside of the pinball FX3 Steam file. So now I'm done with that. I can close all these windows. And I can just simply launch my Pinball X. And now we have our Pinball table. I can go ahead and hit the launch button. That will fire up Steam. Now you hear that little error sound. For some reason, it will not launch the table onto the, the backsplash. You see it has the the DMD and the uh, back glass, but this image is not here. I have to toggle back and then back and then it shows up. So I have to figure out why that's not showing up automatically. But there you have it. Now I have pinball FX3 table launching from Pinball X. Uh, in order to get the keys to work properly and to get this back glass DMD set up, I'll just show you that real quickly before we proceed. <coughs> so I'm going to back up out of here. And I'm going to go down here to... So, so before you can do any of this, to play this on this cabinet, you have to... You have to get a code and you have to set up the the dot matrix you have to turn that on and these are the positions that I use I would have to tweak that thing for it to, to be done properly um, and your back glass positioning in order for it to show up on the second screen you have to put in some values here All right, but once you once you have your uh, personal activation code and you turn on uh, your cabin support, you'll have the ability to view this table. And now we can start. Now you can see there's some differences in this table than the other version. Shot keeps zooming out. I don't like that it does that, but once you go to launch the ball, it launches it. And I think there's a way to change this view so that it's not here it is. I hit my button here on my keyboard or my on my screen and you see it got rid of that it got rid of that DMD on the actual screen so there's different views that you can have <coughs> and there you go you have your game playing and launching through Pinball X. All right. One more thing I want to show you. So now if I hit my normal exit bu button, is going to take me back to Pinball X. And again, this is just regular Pinball X. If I change my uh, 
the see all tables, I'm going to get all 168 tables. And some of those tables just happen to be FX3 now. So if I go to Fishtails. All right, so you see this, this Fishtails is Zan. This Fishtails is Visual Pinball 10. All right. But there is one last thing you have to do, or well, one thing you have to do before you can even get this far. Ah, there we go. You have to map your keys in order to be able to play this. So I'm just going to exit out. Exit out of all of that. There is a program. Close program. Cancel. Okay. <coughs> there is a program called Joy to Key. Joy to Key. That is a program you need to download and use to program your keys. So I have a, a profile I created called Pinball FX3. And I don't know why it doesn't show until you click away and come back. So I looked at my Steam account under my F, Pinball FX3. And it showed me the keys, the controls of how to control the, the pinball machine. What's uh, the inner key is the launch, the shift, the, uh, left shift is left plunger and right shift is uh, the uh, right plunger. And so I, I have eight keys. Zoom out. I have... I have two on the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight on the side. So I have eight keys, which I then programmed using Joy the Key to these particular buttons. So button one is the uh, left control, button two is the left shift, button three is X, etc. Those eight keys. Once you do that, you get your cabinet. Uh, mode support turn that on you're able to launch and play your you're able to play your pinball FX games you see right now I have three now when I first set this up it added all those games that were in that directory and so I had to delete those, so it only shows the ones that I had, uh, that I purchased, and not all of those demo tables. But there you go. That's how you set up a RK FX3 table into Pinball X. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you on the web.